Hey there everyone, this is Rao Cal, fighting away daylight, hidden inside my, anyway it's nighttime. well, well, there's no, whatever, this is apparently the clock, the watchtower, I'm not too remembering, well there are gears outside, that's pretty nice, gears are always a vengeful thing to, well and there's Medusa head, so I guess it's some sort of clock tower, as seen last time in Akujamento Dracula, which is probably how Anakid knows that game because he's some weird Japanese dude where walls are forbidden to be made out of nothing but pure asphalt because, you know, it's the purpose here is to be efficient. Although the background is nice, as an homage to Dracula, the foreground blocks are kind of boring. Uh, that, although I guess it explains the prominence of flinging bone guys. But does does Castlevania like I'm not that familiar with that series? But are there little orbiting sun people? Are there floating Koopa, which I'm you must use as a stepping stone? And how about chainsaws and... Well, okay, I remember chainsaws and, and, and conveyor belts in that Nintendo 64 playthrough that, that there was in the torture chamber not long ago. So, I guess that counts. It, it's an homage to the more obscure games that he likes and he wants to celebrate even though everyone's like... Pfft, that game, I would rather be crushed by a three-ton lobster that is still the size of a normal one. He's just really, really heavy somehow. It's a mystery for all the sand keepers. The little spinny buoys here. Okay, so they, they count as moving stuff. That's great. That's just great. That's totally not annoying pattern here. What are you talking about? Yeah, that doesn't count. That's a demo. Let's see what happens if... Whoa! I managed to survive something I did not expect to survive, but then I got killed by something I didn't even see, and there I just kind of lost my foot. You know, if I was smart, what I'd do is this. So, considering I did it, I guess I'm semi-smart at the very least. That's always a good thing to hear. The triangle here is blue, which changes everything, because that means he was bought... Whoa! In New York rather than the normal Russian flavoring of happy triangleism. There's some spikes in the ceiling, so this is not going to be annoying in the slightest. You see? Not annoying in the slightest. So this is a trap because, you know, there, there's been a, 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 a history of drug abuse in this family, so they put a trap there in case any drugs wanders around in the premises. He's gonna get chopped off by blades, and you're gonna wear his scalp as a hat. Because nothing says high fashion like something that's fuzzy and bloody at the same time. I guess you could just put poor blood on a beaver helmet or something. I mean, that's just not the same thing. Oh man, springy things. I hate springy things. Springy things, not my friend. Skeleton guy, I don't really mind because he's just kind of there usually. Chainsaws are, are cool with me. Little sun dude, eh, depends. But skeleton guy, he's a skeleton guy, he's a skeleton, he's a guy, has no relation with the thwomp or the great order of beach chair aficionados. Yeah, I, I, I needed to pay my respect to that particular guild, so, uh, done. How the hell am I supposed to do this part? I guess I'm supposed to, like, run! Lightly hop! I don't think I can lightly hop from there. Um, how far can I rewind? Because I think that I can make it from he from over there in one shot. Yeah, I think that is what they want of me. So if I just go like this, that's not gonna work at all. Whoops. I can probably, like, if I get enough momentum and use that momentum, I'm gonna use it to plot in advance and be like, RUN! I'm sure that that's supposed to work. I just need to make it work. It's a challenge in itself. Oh, come on, man. Freaking everything. Okay, come on. Spikes, go away. You are not a desired aspect of this monarchy. Okay, well, I was sure the, 
the, the, the point was just to kind of like run off, but um, this is not in a state of working. Okay, so, 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 whoa. Yeah, I still don't go quite high enough. Maybe if I... Maybe if I... Maybe if I... This is not working out. Can I jump? Oh, I think I can maybe jump high enough from him. Yeah! Well, then I sure sound kind of silly in my overhauls here, no paintbrush around. Well, now that, that little silent bar, <laughs> silent parts are always fascinating in LPs. I know they're my favorite bit. Every time there's a silent part, I'm like, wow, this is high time to polish my my Vietnamese. And there's a pencil, and they, uh, pencils are the most xenophobic culture around. So I guess that's why they are not for this particular idea. So I'm gonna play some golf with Morton and said, Hey there, Morton, I'm gonna crush your head because that's what you do. You doodly do and, and wash yourself with, uh, with a dishcloth rather than taking a shower. That's not quite the same thing I have to say, Morton, which is why I had to get rid of you. If you were to continue your maverick ways like that, who knows what would happen in the future. And I, for one, am someone who likes to prevent stuff. There's some text here, it recounts the story of a dog that got lost in an alley, and he was hunted down by a poacher, but then the poacher realized dogs are kind of not that rare, so he gave up his life of crime and joined the candy factory. And It's a very tragic story, and I think that we should all lay our respect by keeping a minute of silence. I'm going to do that off camera though because because that has been silence enough. <laughs>